You're watching PCC TV, Pinellas County Connection Television, a division of Pinellas County Communications. We all know that road construction can create traffic problems, but there's one new road project currently underway that will solve traffic problems. The Keystone Road project between US 19 and East Lake Road is bringing some long awaited improvements to the major east west corridor in North Pinellas County. Inside Pinellas reporter Mark Cawhill takes us on the job site to show us the project's benefits. When it comes to road construction projects, the question on everyone's mind is, how is this going to affect me? The answer, of course, depends on your time frame and your frame of mind. In what was once one of the most rural areas in Pinellas County, the Keystone Road project brings a much needed upgrade to an area that's experienced tremendous growth over the past couple years, and it's designed to accommodate future growth if necessary. Anticipated to be completed in the summer of 2013, the project will deliver a superior roadway that doubles the current capacity of Keystone Road over the three-mile stretch between US 19 and East Lake Road. It is also bringing some long-awaited improvements for bicyclists and pedestrians. Though the project is still in its early stages, reduced travel times and increased safety and convenience are less than three years away. Well, currently we're in the stages of doing the clearing and grubbing, which means taking all the trees down, getting all the roots out of the ground, and demucking, which means getting the organic soils out of the way so that we can build the road. We started doing some of the earthwork. We're uh, in the preliminary stages of installing some water line. There's a major new 12-inch uh, water line that's going to run along the north side of the road from East Lake all the way up to Mellon. Once we get the 12-inch water in, we've got a 36-inch water main that will start relocating. Obviously, a bigger pipe, it'll be more visible when that pipe's sitting on the job. You'll see a lot more stormwater pipe going in. And then as, as we move through the end of October uh, into November, you may see some temporary pavement start to get built. But I would expect it'll be after the first of the year before you start seeing lane changes and that type of thing. We'll mostly work around the existing lanage between now and then. For this project, as with most major projects, there's more going on than what meets the eye. A lot of what we're doing is underground. This is a major utility corridor. It's the first place north of Lake Tarpon that things go through. So all your major water lines, telephone cables, power lines, everything else runs through this corridor. And a lot of the work that's going on now and will be for the next six months is relocating a lot of those utilities. Already a busy stretch of road, patience and awareness are essential for maintaining safety and dealing with the temporary delays associated with construction work. Motorists are advised to stay alert for reduced speed limits and tighter driving conditions when moving through the work zone. So this corridor is very heavily congested. Um, the average annual daily traffic is uh, around 25,000 cars a day. Um, so we obviously have to widen this corridor. Um, the proposal is a four-lane divided roadway. Um, the infrastructure will be in place for a future six-lane if it's ever needed. Um, the Pinellas Trail will make the connection from its current terminus at Mellon Street and connect it over to uh, over at East Lake Road so users can go all the way down to John Chestnut. Um, we'll have a trail spur that comes off the Pinellas Trail to go to US 19, so the pedestrians could also access the shopping complex over there. Um, we'll have sidewalk facilities um, on, on both sides of the roads, which is de desperately needed on this corridor because there are no pedestrian facilities on this corridor. As part of responsible strategic growth for Pinellas County, the work also includes improvements to stormwater management and drainage, as well as enhancements to wetlands and water quality features that serve daily to maintain and improve our local environment while beautifying a corridor that serves as a major point of entry and critical evacuation route for an entire county. For Inside Pinellas, I'm Mark Cawhill. Thanks, Mark. That's some great information, and information is the key to intelligent transportation. If you'd like to learn more about the Keystone Road widening project, there are several ways you can. A special website has been created, as well as a project hotline and residents who live in and around the project work zone can also expect periodic project updates delivered right to their doorstep. For all the latest information on the Keystone Road widening, visit the project's website at keystoneroad.com or call the project hotline at 453-3355.